Hey, it's Dan with Novice No Longer, and we have just about gotten to the end of this tutorial. In this last video, I'm just going to show you three kind of final touches you can put on your blog and you can do to really give it the real professional feel and make it look really great. So the very first thing I'm going to set up with you is Gravatar. And a Gravatar is a picture that follows you around the web. It is used all throughout WordPress and it's also used in a lot of other websites. So sometimes you'll sign up for a new website and if you already have Gravatar set up, it'll be able to pull in your profile picture and you already have like set up in your personality there and it follows you around. You'll notice in here in the very top corner, this picture here, I did not upload this in the back end. It wasn't like in users, like in your profile or anything. That's not there. Instead, WordPress associates your email address with your picture and then uses it everywhere. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you go to Gravatar, you can sign in and you're going to sign in with your WordPress.com credentials. So we use that at the very beginning when I described the difference between WordPress.com and the WordPress.org. So when you signed up for Jetpack and you signed up for WordPress.com, those are the credentials that you're going to use to log in here. So I'm just going to put that in, wait for it to load. And you'll be able to see all of these different email addresses that I have, as well as avatars that I can select for each one. So you'll be able to add your email address, whatever that might be. And then once you do that, you can select whatever picture you want. And I actually used to use this little animated thing and now I use this one. This is me laughing. I sometimes have a gif of this moving to this very so often and it amuses me when people see that. Um, yeah, and then for Trip Expert, I made a little, our little logo for Trip Expert there. So this allows you to add as many new emails as you want and then add or customize whatever picture is assigned for that. So you should definitely go on, sign up for Gravatar, get that set up, and do that almost immediately. So the second thing I'm gonna show you is what's known as the favicon. You might notice looking up at these tabs right here, there's a little icon right here and right here. If we go to our website, let's load that. It has a little WordPress, uh, and I mean, I don't wanna really have it be WordPress. It's kind of weird because it's, the, the blogging company, not actually me and my brand. So what you can do is create a custom little icon and put it up here. And that's known as the favicon. Now, in the previous video, uh, or one of the previous videos, I showed you the theme options. And there is a place right here for a favicon. And a favicon is 16 by 16 pixels. It can be a PNG or a GIF or it could be an ICO, which is an icon file. I'm not gonna actually use this. This isn't always in everybody's theme, so you can't really rely on that. Instead, I'm gonna go into plugins. Let's see, add new. Gonna go for all in one favicon. This is my favorite favicon plugin. I'm gonna stall. Activate. Fantastic. Now let's see where it is. Is it here? Yes, all in one favicon under the settings. That's often where new plugins go. Great. So this lets you customize everything that you want. So you can see the ICO file for the front end, for the front end, front end, different file formats and the back end. It also allows you to do slightly larger ones, so 32 by 32. A lot of websites are doing that because of retina displays now. So it used to be 16 by 16, but now you can actually do larger files. So you can upload individual icons for each of these. What this means is Apple Touch Icon front end is if somebody is using the iPhone and they're browsing in Safari and then they press the center button and save your website to their home screen, that icon that shows there is the Apple Touch Icon. So that's a really fringe use case. You don't really need to worry about it, but just go online and search for like Favicon Generator. You'll be able to spit out a Favicon and upload it right here.
And the very last thing we're gonna do is set our display name. So let's look right here. See how it says categories and tags? This is my first post and it says by I am Dan. It puts that in because that is my username. I don't really want that. I want it to be my actual name. So we're gonna to go to users, go to your profile. See so right down here, it says nickname. I put in I am Dan. I don't want that. I want Dan. I like that. Wonderful. And I'm going to say display name publicly as Dan because that's what I like. You can also add in your website, Google Plus. It's a good idea to fill all this out, including your biographical info. So a brief summary of who you are and what you've done. So let's save that. Wonderful. Refresh this. And it's updated. You can do Dan, you can do first name, last name, you can do whichever one you want, however you want it to look. And there you are. Those are the those are the final touches. Once you have the Fabicon, your Gravatar, and your name all set, you're pretty much good to go.